Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. Now that we have all taken down our Christmas decorations, we're kind of in that limbo phase where it's after Christmas, but before Valentine's. So I have a few DIYs that are super inexpensive and really easy to make that you can keep around your house during the rest of the season that will give you that nice winter feel. And yes, they're Dollar Tree DIYs, so keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to make is that beautiful deer silhouette. Now I actually drew this by hand and from scratch, as you can see, I actually put two pieces of paper together because I only had eight and a half by 11s, but I was wanting to put this on an 11 by 14 frame from Dollar Tree. Now, if you cannot draw, don't worry, I got you. I uploaded this exact image and made a PDF out of it for you all to download on my website. I'll make sure to include that link below in my description box. Now, if you've downloaded a pattern from me before, you already have access to it because it is in my free printables library. Now, as you can see here, I taped the two pages together and now I'm basically just cutting out the pattern. And then I placed the deer on top of the frame that I was putting it on so that I knew how it kind of would turn out and get an idea of where the center was. When I was happy with the placement, I placed the deer on the underside of the glass and I taped it to it and then flipped it around. Then with a white Sharpie paint marker, I traced the deer. Now, once the deer was traced, I didn't need the back anymore, so I gently removed it. I flip the glass over and then I place it on top of the insert that came with the frame. That way I can see the deer a little bit better. And then I took my linen white and just started painting the inside of that deer frame. In order to get a nice smooth and even finish, I had to do three coats of the chalk paint. Now between those coats, I removed the little tabs from the actual picture frame and I spray painted it white with a simple Rust-Oleum white paint from Home Depot. Now after all the coats were dried, I took some Mod Podge and some glitter and decided to glam this deer up. I did two separate coats of glitter, so I applied Mod Podge, then I would add the glitter on top, let it dry, add another coat of Mod Podge, then add a second coat of glitter and let that dry. Then finally I applied one last coat of Mod Podge on the top to seal in the glitter. And this is what it looked like right before that final Mod Podge layer. Then I wiped off any excess Mod Podge or glitter that might have stuck to the glass. Then I used E6000 to adhere the glass back on to the frame. Then I simply hot glued some leftover burlap ribbon that I had on hand to the top of the frame and added a little bow and hung it that way. And since it's so light, it actually holds really well. And I love how you can see the wall color through the glass. This was so inexpensive. It only cost me a dollar because all I needed was the frame. I had everything else on hand and I think it's so elegant even though it was such a simple project. All right, so on to our next DIY. All right, so we're gonna create some really pretty vase fillers. And what you're gonna need is some fake snow or some pom-poms or anything that you have left over from Christmas. Now I had these little styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree that I had left over from my DIY farmhouse ornaments that I made for Christmas. And then I just hot glued those mini snowballs onto the styrofoam balls, just like I did for those little berry ornaments. Mm -hmm. 
I recommend using some tweezers so that you don't burn your fingers. However, inevitably, I always do. <laughs> then I also wanted something a little earthy so I used some leftover moss from Dollar Tree and I just applied it the same way onto each of the little styrofoam balls. These will be a great way to transition from winter to spring. Then I added the snowballs, the moss balls, along with some pre-made Dollar Tree grapevine face fillers into one of my Look For Less DIY Hurricanes and then I added some fairy lights and it looked amazing. Then finally I bring you to my last DIY which is this really adorable burlap and evergreen topiary. So I started with cutting a 16 by 16 inch square of some leftover burlap. You can get a yard of burlap at Hobby Lobby with a 40% coupon for like $3. So I highly suggest that. So here you see me hot gluing this floral foam form from Dollar Tree. It is the same one that I used for my little rustic glam tree. And I just glued it to the center of the burlap and then just started gluing up the sides. Tie all the burlap together, but beforehand, I want to take this wooden dowel, also from Dollar Tree, and poke it right in the center before I go ahead and tie it together. Now, I do end up hot gluing that dowel into that foam, that way it stays more secure. Next, I basically do the same thing I did with the little base fillers and cover this cone form with more moss. I already made a mark on the center of the bottom of the cone where the dowel was gonna go. And then I just basically hot glued the moss toward it, making sure not to cover up that hole. Then I added the topiary to the base. Now one quick tip here, I would not hot glue that topiary onto that dowel. I would leave it free. This way you can change it up for every season or occasion without having to create a new base. And that is it you guys. I found the perfect place next to my DIY painted lamp to put that really pretty hurricane with all of those vase fillers as well as that cute little evergreen topiary. Now everything on this table except for that book has been DIY'd, but I don't think you can tell. Now don't forget about that free pattern for that dear silhouette. Just remember that the pattern is for an 11 by 14 frame. So you will have to print it out on a legal document size sheet of paper. Now, if you do want to use it for an 8x10, simply reduce the percentage of the scale of the image when you go to print it. If you're still watching, I'd love to know in the comments below which project was your favorite. Make sure you subscribe, hit like so it helps my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios!